It's weird if I would say I started when I was a kid, but this is surprisingly true. When I started, actually, it was my mom. She was going to an institute to learn programming, along with Photoshop and all the other stuff about computer. And computer was really new back then in India. Internet, internet was also pretty new. I started programming, uh, learning from my mom, even when I had no idea what programming was, just because she was learning this fancy stuff. I thought, okay, I'm going to do that the same. And that's what really happened. I, I think I, I remember the first course I did, I miserably failed the exam in the end because I, I was cramming the programming, you know, the, the program, how to, for, in, for instance, find the prime numbers and stuff. But still, that, that gave me some idea about the programming and at least gave me the interest to do the programming. But the real programming stuff started after my 10th grade. It's like high school in India. And then I joined the Polytechnic College where I started learning programming uh, as a study. That's when I started, basically. My role at Dynatrace is Platform Developer Advocate. What it basically means, means is that the Dynatrace has a platform and I'm a developer advocate teaching about that platform. In a better word, actually not teaching, but enabling developers within the company and also outside the company. What is the Dynatrace platform? How you can really leverage all the benefits from the platform? That is in a way my role, but if I go to specific, specifics, actually, uh, my job is actually to, as I said, enable people to do so. I have to create workshops. I spend a lot of time doing workshops, creating the content for the workshop, doing the workshop itself. Uh, another important aspect of my job is to actually create documentation. Uh, I think I've worked a lot on the documentation, creating the original content of the documentation, also doing the style reviews, tech reviews for the documentation by which were done by other contributors and stuff like that. Uh, and also the third important aspect is actually to gather the feedback from the community inside and outside the Dynatrace. For instance, when we do workshop, we collect the feedback and funnel it back to the developers who have created the technology itself. These are the important things that I do. Uh, other thing actually that's something now I really like and intrigues me is that to create video content as well. That's something I re recently started doing. Uh, we have an app called Learn DQL where people can learn Dynatrace query language where they go and it's like Dojo app. People go, they have a set of uh, exercises that they have to do. And for each exercise, they actually have the video where I'm actually telling, explaining them basically the topic or the task at hand. So these are the kind of stuff that I do. At Dynatrace. One of the first thing is people who really want to start programming, I think they spend a lot of time thinking about syntax and all sort of stuff, which in my opinion is not really programming. This is not what you should start to learn. Instead, you should start to have a mod mental model of what programming actually is. To do so, you actually should go with language like Scratch, which is visual programming language, where you go where you actually have drag and drop uh, programming uh, stuff, the components, for instance, how to do conditionals, how to do loops and stuff, where you don't spend a lot of time fixing the syntax, but actually executing the logic. Uh, as mentioned now, the logic, that is the real programming to create algorithms to solve a problem. In my opinion, that's a programming. And this is where the newcomer should start from. Uh, about the developer advocacy, I can tell you actually how I started. Maybe that would help people. For me, I think most of us are somehow doing advocacy. For instance, there are a lot of developers who are writing blog posts and stuff. A lot of developers who are going to meetups and they're giving the talks there. That already is part of being developer advocate. This same thing happened to me. I wrote a couple of books on Ionic, which is a mobile framework to create hybrid applications. And then I actually started going to meetups where I was giving presentation. I wrote a couple of blog posts for a couple of online uh, publications and stuff. And these were all sort of stuff that I did before, uh, before becoming a developer advocate at Dynatrace. So if you are doing all those sort of stuff, you are trying to help people in the community. I think you're already on the path of becoming developer advocate. Last thing for you is just to find the job uh, for developer advocate and then just jump into it.